adolescence is all about growing, building muscles and bones, become bigger and stronger to be able to do new things. Except in the brain, where other things are going on during the teenage years. Unlike most parts of the body, a child's brain reaches about 95% of its adult size by age six, complete with billions of connections between cells. But the teenage brain has a different task. As children enter puberty, those connections in most of the brain die off. They're pruned like the limbs of a tree in a process that neuroscientists think of as use it or lose it. So if you haven't learned how to balance on a skateboard or play the piano by the time you're a teenager, it's a lot harder to start when you're an adult. But if you've learned and practiced while you were young, it's fairly easy to pick it up again when you're older because those connections within the brain are still there. While most of a teenager's brain is pruning cells, the part in the very front, known as the prefrontal cortex, is doing the opposite. It's growing and building connections. This is the part of the brain that's responsible for planning and for understanding the consequences of behavior, which is why teenagers say things like this. I dropped out of high school to skateboard. It's fun. Driving fast is fun. It's a bit ironic that the part of the brain that, in essence, gives us good judgment isn't fully working during the years that we need it the most. I'm Dr. Cheryl Olson. Adolescence is the last great time of enormous brain change and brain development. Now the drama of brain development focuses on the part of the brain that makes us uniquely human, the still maturing prefrontal cortex. The prefrontal cortex is a part of the brain that allows us to make future plans and that's involved in such highly abstract areas as personal responsibility, morality, and self-control. This part of the brain is undergoing this major, major step in maturation during adolescence. It is no wonder that the teenage years can be a time of turmoil and confusion. The adolescent's brain is clumsy because all of a sudden there's these new parts of their brain that are online that are doing tasks and they're getting used to it. They are trying to figure out, OK, I've got a frontal cortex. What do I do with it? The developing teenage brain is in flux, shaping personality, behavior, even identity itself. As the brain matures, the teenager also faces special risks, from addictive drugs and alcohol that can hijack the brain, to the chaos of schizophrenia that strikes most often during adolescence. It may be legal, but it is still a drug. Did you know that your brain is still developing until you're around 20 to 25? So we need to be really careful because alcohol can do some irreversible damage to various parts of our brains. For example, drinking affects the cerebral cortex, which controls our senses and inhibitory centers, which is why when you drink, you become more talkative, more self-confident and less socially inhibited. It also controls our thought processes, so alcohol affects our ability to make good judgment or think clearly. The brain's frontal lobes are important for planning, forming ideas, making decisions and using self-control. So when alcohol affects the frontal lobes of the brain, you may find it hard to control emotions and urges, and you may act without thinking, and even sometimes become violent or act completely out of character. Does this sound familiar? The cerebellum is important for coordination, thinking and being aware. So again, you may have trouble with these skills when alcohol affects the cerebellum. That's why people affected by alcohol sometimes can't walk properly or lose their balance and fall. The hippocampus is the part of the brain where memories are made. So when alcohol reaches the hippocampus, you may have trouble remembering something you just heard, or even worse, have a blackout and not be able to remember what you did last night. If alcohol damages the hippocampus, you may find it hard to learn or remember things in the future. The hypothalamus is a small part of the brain that does an amazing number of the body's housekeeping chores. After a person drinks alcohol, blood pressure, hunger, thirst and the urge to urinate increases, while body temperature and heart rate decreases. 
And finally, the medulla controls the body's automatic actions, such as your heartbeat. It also keeps the body at the right temperature. Because alcohol chills the body, drinking a lot of alcohol outdoors in cold weather can cause a person's body temperature to fall below normal. This dangerous condition is called hypothermia. Your body belongs to you. Get the facts. Alcohol is unsafe for the developing brain. Alcohol can damage your brain forever. The long-term functioning and health of your brain depends on the choices you make today. Your responsible attitude toward alcohol can have a positive influence on your friends and family. Your body belongs to you. Take care of it. It's the only one you have. Even though we think of 18-year-olds as adults, their brains are far from finished. Scientists are now learning what insurance companies have known for a long time. When do your car insurance rates change? Age 25. Why? Because that is when you're less likely to get into accidents and cost them money. Here is a graph of activity in the prefrontal cortex across the lifespan. It is based on over 6,000 scans that we have done in our clinics. You can see that a child's brain is very active. But over time, brain activity begins to settle down because unused connections are being pruned and brain cells are being wrapped with a white fatty substance called myelin. Myelin acts like insulation on copper wires and helps our cells work more efficiently. In fact, cells wrapped with myelin work 10 to 100 times faster than those without it. The prefrontal cortex is not fully myelinated or efficient until we are about 25 years old. Anything that disrupts myelin formation, such as smoking, drinking, drug abuse, brain trauma, a lousy diet, too much stress, or not enough sleep can actually delay or damage brain development. We need to do a much better job of taking care of younger brains. If you take care of your brain over time, you are more likely to be wiser as wisdom is a brain function. Here is our drug education poster that now hangs in over 50,000 schools around the world. It shows a healthy brain surrounded by drug and alcohol affected brains. It asks the question, which brain do you want? That is a question you should always ask yourself.